now is that Sean Dice says he's not surprised by the amount of money being spent in this transfer window. And he's fully aware of the knock-on effect that this has on his attempts to sign players. Every time one of the, the superpowers spends enormous money on a player, you do realise that that drip feeds down through the market. So every player you then phone about has miraculously gone considerably up in value because they'll look and say, well, if he's worth that, that doesn't mean our player's as good as that, but it means he must be somewhere near as good as that on a sliding scale. So where does the next move for us come from? You know, what does that mean for us? Where's the next valuation on one of our players or one of our targets, sorry, that we're going to? So I think it does drip down in a different way, not just physically trying to get players who can handle the Premier League and win games, but also in the market side of things when you're att attempting to go get them players who you think can do that. Now, we told you just a few minutes ago that a Premier League manager has been accused of eating worms. This is true. It is Sean Dyke. Mm. It all centres on the mystery behind his gravelly voice. Yeah, you may have read the interview with the former Bristol City player Soren Anderson, in which he claimed that his former teammate used to eat worms. This is what Dyke had to say on it. I also smoke uh, exhaust pipes. I've been told in the past that that's what makes my throat like this. I have gravel for breakfast. That was another thing. So them three combined often are the things I use to keep this voice sounding how it is. Um, but no, it's fair to say I didn't actually eat the worms. There was a bit of banter that I used to have, and I've, I've done this here and when I was manager at Watford. You get one of them nice big juicy worms hanging out of your mouth, just on the edge there, and then as if you're chewing it. And of course, the worm then comes out, washing out that old water. So a bit of banter which Soren's probably taken a bit too far. He's probably screaming and turning away at that moment. So possibly, possibly a bit of a translation difficulty as well. I don't know, but he's a good lad, sorry. And uh, no, I, I definitely, for the record, I definitely don't eat worms. Although Bear Grylls would probably be happy with me. He'd probably go, yeah, a little worm omelette or something. He'd probably be all right with that. I don't know how worms, whether they're good for you or not. Right. Let's, let's move on. All right. Uh, the Watford boss.